smuggling shit into prison is a 24-7 job, bro. Like, you always got people trying to figure out how to do it better and get more stuff in there and be sneaky and, you know, efficient and shit. But some people could do it and some people can't, bro. Like, I suggest nobody do this shit, you know, because the loved ones that are actually going in there probably are important to you. And the shit that's going to happen ain't as good as the benefits you're getting from it, bro. Or that could happen, you know. I'm hoping nobody get caught, but I mean, when you do get caught, you got a whole charge for your loved one and all this shit that comes with it, bro. Look, some people could do it. There was this one homie I remember was doing it, time at the time at the time, bro. And um, he ain't get popped, bro. And then this other vato just did it one time, bro. His first time. His baby mama got popped. Their daughter got fucking taken by the COs, man. The, the the local cops came. They took him from the visiting room, bro. Made of embarrassment of the daughter and the hyena, you know, in front of everybody. And um, you just got to use your mind, bro. Some people ain't made for that shit, bro. The way you communicate the shit is just stupid. I was watching the way this vato was communicating the shit. I was like, bro, on a fucking payphone talking about, hey, baby, don't forget to bring so-and-so, woo-woo-woo. I'm like, bro, you know the who that is listening, right? You dumbass motherfucker. Like, everybody don't be a follower, bro. Please. If you see something that's happening and it's working for somebody else, that don't mean you try and go do it too, bro. And maybe working for that vato because he went through the proper channels, bro. You don't know nothing about the shit.